Hey everyone, we are looking at our last volume formula today, volume of spheres. Here is our formula for volume of spheres, V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. V is the volume and r is the radius. So we only need one thing to find the volume of a cube and it is the radius and the radius is right here. It is from the center of the sphere to any outer part of the sphere. And then we will also look at finding the volume of hemispheres. A hemisphere is half of a sphere. So to find the volume of a hemisphere, you will do 4 thirds pi r cubed and then just divide it by 2. Okay, so the volume of a sphere's formula is pretty simple because like I said, all you do is substitute in the radius. Um, but sometimes people get confused because there are a few things that are different from cylinders and cones. So let's go ahead and ask this question. How is the volume of a sphere formula different from cylinders and cones? And if you forgot, here are the cylinders and cones formula. Cylinder is B equals BH and cone equals one third BH. So the first difference that I see is that there is no area of the base. There's no B in the volume of a sphere's formula like there is in the other two. Like we said, the only variable to substitute is R. And then in our sphere's formula, we have radius cubed. In the other two, we have radius squared because we end up substituting pi R squared for capital B. So that's something that people get confused on. It is radius cubed in a sphere formula. And then the other thing that is different is in a sphere formula, we have the fraction four thirds instead of one thirds like in a cone. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the volume. We are going to round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. So number one formula for volume of a sphere is V equals four thirds pi r cubed. The only variable we need to find the volume is the radius, which they give me right here. It is 2.5. So to find the volume, I will do 4 thirds times pi, which is 3.14, times the radius, which is 2.5, and then cubed. So in the calculator, I'll do 4 divided by 3 times 3.14, times 2.5 and then to get to the third power you press the little a to the b power and then type a 3 and we get 65.42 inches cubed. Okay let's look at number 2. They give me the diameter. I'm going to need to divide that by 2 to find the radius and 30 divided by 2 is 15. And now I have everything I need for my volume formula. 4 thirds pi r cubed. So I'm going to do 4 thirds times 3.14 times my radius of 15 to the third power. And 4 thirds times 3.14 times 15 to the third power is 14,130 millimeters cubed. Okay, number three, we have a hemisphere, so I will do my volume formula and then I will have to divide by two. And they gave me the radius here, which is all I need to find the volume. So I'm gonna plug into V equals four thirds pi r cubed. So I'm going to do 4 thirds times 3.14 times some radius of 17.5 cubed. So 4 thirds times 3.14 times 17.5 to the third, I get 22,437. 0.92, but remember I'm finding a hemisphere. So now I'm going to divide by two. So 22437.92 divided by two 
is 11,218.96 centimeters cubed. All right, let's look at number four. I'm going to find the volume in terms of pi. So that means I will multiply all the numbers except for pi and just stick the pi symbol at the end. So I'm gonna start with my formula. V equals four thirds pi r cubed. So it'll be V equals four thirds pi times my radius of 6.25 to the third power. So now I'm going to multiply all of the numbers except for pi and then just stick a pi symbol at the end. So 4 thirds times 6.25 to the third power, I get 325.52 pi. and then it would be feet cubed. Okay, now we're gonna find the volume of this hemisphere in terms of pi. They gave me the diameter, so to find the radius, I'm going to do 19 divided by two, and 19 divided by two is 9.5. Now I'm going to plug into my volume formula, 4 thirds pi r cubed, and I will do 4 thirds pi symbol times 9.5 cubed. And now I'm just going to multiply the numbers, 4 thirds and 9.5 cubed, and then stick a pi at the end. 4 thirds times 9.5 to the third. And I get 1,000, 1,143.5 one seven pi and then remember this was a hemisphere so i need to divide by two so now i'm just going to do the coefficient of pi divided by two and one one four three point one seven divided by two is five hundred seventy one point fifty nine pi be meters cubed. Okay, number six, it says the diameter of a soccer ball is 22 centimeters. What is the volume of the soccer ball? So obviously a soccer ball is a sphere, so I'll use my formula, V equals four thirds pi r cubed. All I need is the radius. They gave me the diameter is 22. To find the radius, I will divide it by two, and 22 divided by two is 11. So to find the volume of the soccer ball, I will do 4 thirds times 3.14 times the radius of 11 cubed. And 4 thirds times 3.14 times the radius of 11 cubed is 5,572.45 centimeters cubed. Okay, last one, it says the radius of a Whopper candy, which is sphere shaped, is two centimeters. 12 candy pieces come in a box. What is the total volume of the 12 pieces of candy? So that means we will have to take the volume of one of them and multiply it by 12 to find the volume of 12 of them in total. So let's start by finding the volume of one of them. Our formula is V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. I know the radius is 2. So I'm going to do 4 thirds times 3.14 times my radius of 2 cubed. So four thirds times 3.14 times my radius of two to the third is 33.49. But remember there's 12 of them. So I need to multiply by 12. And 33.49 times 12 is 401.88 
centimeters cubed. 